stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start out my coverage of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. It is by Square Enix and releases today, September 4th, 2018. I have to try to get this recording done before work. A big shout out to Liven for getting this game. I guess it's sponsored by Liven, if you want to call it something. He has uh, procured the funds, sent them to me, and the game is ours. Thanks to him, he's a big supporter on Patreon, on Twitch. He's donated a few games. He's also just donated extra chunks of money whenever he's got some extra. So a big shout out to you. Thank you. This wouldn't be possible without you. Now, not to skip over that, but let's get to it. So, just downloaded and installed the game. I guess we're just going to go with, uh, let's go with the traditional Gus. Why not? Let's just go with traditional Gus. We like to use uh, psych names when and where we can. We're just going to go with that draconian quest. What does that mean? Oh. No fleeing from battle, no shopping, no armor. What are these? You can have all these restrictions? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I think right now we're going to go with the uh, the basics. All right, now that looks fine. Let's confirm and let's get this underway, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I'm kind of a modern age Dragon Quest noob, if you want to call it something. I played the original Dragon Quest, which in the U.S., North America, was Dragon Warrior, way back in the day when it released on Nintendo. I've also played the second one. It's a lot of weird noise. That is a creepy little weird thing. Huh. Is it ethereal or just like stealthy? It's impressive, is what it is. I'll let you guys enjoy this. I'm sorry. This child is the one there's the mark there's no mistaking it Basically, just sitting in a bucket and just need to fill up with water, and he's in the ground. It's not great. Well, that seems bad. It's like our birth is off to a bad start. After that awful storm, too. However, did you survive? I'm curious, too. Oh, there's a mill. Oh, you're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. 
Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. And this is how and when Krillin was born, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, little known fact, the creator, artistic design, whatever you want to call it, of the Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest series back in the day, possibly even to this day, was Akira Toriyama, who, of course, is the creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and so on and so forth. The more you know. All right. Well, we're standing here. And apparently we've survived. And we've aged. And we have a friend. Thanks so much. You're a lifesaver. That's a little bit much. Okay. Bobby! Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. I do. Ah. <sighs> So it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Seems like fun. Let's do it. Let's go right now. <laughs> you going to climb up too? Ah, oh, the dog's getting a huge snack. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on. Best not keep her waiting. <laughs> okay. Okay. I feel like that's not appropriate climbing attire. All right, welcome to the game, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I am using a PlayStation 4 controller. This is on the PC. What's up? You know the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck on what to do, have a chat with folks with the pretty pink speech bubbles over their heads like me. Just press X and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use the right analog stick to change direction you're facing. It's a handy little trick, trust me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is pretty neat. Okay. Can we run? Hello. Gus, seeing you and my dear Gemma, Gemma, all set for your big day makes me proud as anything. Both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now. And that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now it's time you were on your way. Head up to the top and give praise to the spirit of the land. Then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you are ever unsure what to do next, try pressing Y and selecting Party Talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Just look at you, Gus. My little boy, all grown up. <laughs> I'll be sure to look after Gemma, you hear? To think you've been inseparable since you were tiny. And here you are, about to climb the tour together. Oh, and if you ever lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine. And I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. Mmm, food. Woof, woof, woof. Let's go. Sorry, buddy. That's jump. Do we have a... Nope. It does not look like we have a sprint button. Oh, we do. It's, it's R2. It's none of the face buttons. It's R2. Okay. Cool. Now keep Humble folk of cobblestone. Great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? Yeah, ain't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tour, you see. Cool. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. Sweet. Let's do I it. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. It's a very good point. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? <laughs> That's an interesting way to phrase well, it. not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Indubitably. Come on, then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh. oh. Uh oh The big-necked dog sees something. They don't like slammer poos. Yeah, let's get some slimes. Ah! Monsters! <laughs> They're coming this way. 
Don't you worry, love. We've got this. A group of slimes draws me. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so we just kind of spit out tactics for everyone like this? Show no mercy. Don't fret about MP. Just give the enemy a what for. Alright, let's fight. I'm going to say that we're just going to basically attack. That's all we've got right Get now. Him! Crikey! Ow, crikey! No, dog bet live! Crumbs! Crumbs? Does she not fight? It's alright. Sandy and I got this. Go on! Crikey! It, it's paralyzed with fear at the dog's barking. That's fantastic. All right, we've taken out another Slim Slim, and it's still paralyzed with fear, and we've got Go this. On. Not a great start Here. for our adventure, is it? All right, six experience and gold coins. Oh, and I dropped a treasure chest out of the sky. Nice. Medicinal herbs. All right. Crikey, I wasn't expecting that. I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. Eh, you could have run. I'm sure you could outrun some slimes. Uh-oh. It looks like Sandy senses some more trouble up ahead. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. Don't worry, I'll I got you. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. You got that right. Come on, let's get going. Let's do it, Gemma. We got this. All right. Let's get to hustling. Now, I'm not going to get to, like, a traditional stopping point, probably. I'm going to end up having to cut this episode a little bit short, but I'll be back later today with probably two or three more episodes. I just want to get a good, solid start on this. So I'm going to try to get this first episode up before I must hurry off to work. Technically, I'll be leaving in about four minutes. I'm going to try to push it a little bit, so we'll see. The world may end. Oh. This looks dangerous. It's actually not. I can't seem to fall off. So, that's fine. Hey, dog! You ran right past the slime. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I can climb up it. Nice. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Gotta love the soundtrack. Alright, so I, I was mentioning earlier that I'm, I'm a noob when it comes to the modern day Dragon Quest games. However, I did play the old school ones. I played, well, one of the old school ones. I played all the way when I was younger. When it was first out, I beat it. I thought it was fantastic. Really, really enjoyed it. One of my favorite games back in the day. M -m More monsters, but I, I don't think they spotted you yet. You should sneak up and try to surprise them. How do I do that? Get close enough to a monster, and a small orange arrow will appear just above them. Press A, and you'll give them a, a weighty wallop with your weapon. All right. There it is. Oh, a weighty wallop. One point of damage. A group of slimes appear. Anyhow, so I played through the first one recently, like within the last month or so. And I've also played through most of the second one. Alright, we got this. Don't even worry about it. Let's see, this is the man. So, as far as the modern day ones, people have told me that I should start with six, that it's really, really good. And it's a great starting point, but I decided we're going to start our modern day adventure here in 11. Get him! And just enjoy the latest installment. This released, literally installed, preloaded everything Go right on! before the game released, and we're playing it minutes after the release. And hopefully the video will go up within the hour of the release. That's the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. But we'll see. So as it starts off, obviously the first few battles will be pretty easy. Slimes and things of that nature. Again, this is iconic. This goes all the way back to the very first game. These were the weakest enemies you could fight with the slimes. Then there were red slimes, and little known fact, apparently Tell when I was younger, I was dumb they? and didn't know I'm how to read. So oh, we leveled proud up. Of you. We got lots of stat increases, actually. That's that's really cool. I like that. And we learned a new spell, Frizz. Cool. Uh, apparently, I didn't know how to read very well when I was younger, I guess. Because I, all, for a long time, I eventually figured it out even when I was younger, but since the slimes were these little like gumdrop looking things that smiled, I just glanced at it without actually reading it, and I used to call these things smiles, thinking they were actually smiles, not slimes. I know, stupid, but you can see it, right? They're smiling. And you just glancing at it, not really paying that much attention. Get you can 
again. Or I'm just really bad at reading this. It's fine. <laughs> we should try out our skill on the, the bigger creature over there when we get to it. I do like that we can actually go ahead and weaken them a little bit before we start the battle. Gus uh, full healed off of his level up too. That's that's a rare thing. It didn't used to happen in the old school ones. You used to always have to go back to town and rest and everything else. I'm a fan of healing. I'm a big fan of it. Alright, you weird little cotton blobs. I don't know who these guys are. I haven't seen these things before. Alright, what does that do? A fireball. Alright, let's go, Needler. Get him! Yeah, he didn't survive that. Alright. Oh, it used a medicinal herb? For what purpose? It didn't get hit yet. Well, it's gonna get hit now and get defeated, so. GG, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, dropped a chest with another medicinal herb in it. Alright, I am a fan. Alright, we're gonna try to traverse some of the, the pathing. Now, I know the dog's leading us to the places where we need to go, but I also like the idea and concept of looking around and exploring some of the other areas. I'm a big fan and proponent of that in most games, so... Oh, cool. I just, I just break pottery because, of course I do. I hate all pottery. Oh, can we swim? Oh, we can't swim. Boo. Alright, so I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while once I saw it was announced that it was going to be releasing for pretty much all platforms at the same time, except I believe the game already released in Japan a while ago, and I guess this is a, like a, a, the western release, if you will. So I'm a little bit bummed out by that, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't get my attack off in time. Alright, Needs, what you got? Are you going to start with the dis I, I don't think you know how that works. Like, that's not... Get him! Alright, are Don't we fast enough us. to go? What? Oh, she gave me stuff! Go on! Oh, she's like an item user person thing. I like that. Yeah. Tough little blighters, aren't they? They are. They are tough. Tough to not kill quicker. I may uh, increase the camera turn speed a little bit. We have a bit more to- Oh, the sound! That used to be the sound it would make when you go up and down stairs and you transition. Oh, good stuff. I love the iconicness of everything. Look at all this fog. Uh, is this normal, do you think? She does look quite concerned. Help! Help me! Sounds good. Cole? Ah! Ah! Oh, that looks bad. You have to help him! Do I have to? Oh. I feel like we should keep going though. We have to help him. We shouldn't be stopping. Alright, weird cloud face guy. It's not guy. fog at all. It's more monsters! Indeed, and you're breathing that in right now. How does that make you feel? Getting a lung full of monster? That can't be good. That smoking was bad. Alright, Smogs, what you got? I'm gonna frizz you. Get him! Yeah, that did not kill me. It makes Crikey. me very nervous. Ooh, you alright, Dogbert? What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, well, at least Don't we paralyzed you with fear. She's gonna keep, keep us going, alright. Go on! There we go. Crikey! Alright, while you're paralyzed Get with fear, in. I don't think you're gonna dodge, so we should probably Crumbs. double down on you. Oh yeah, there you go. Good job, Sandy. Go on. Take on the smog monster. I think after the smog fight, we're probably gonna break off the episode, guys. Get like I said, it's gotta be a shorter one. Because I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Get to work. Alright. Well Sweet, that was like a boss fight. Cool, we made it to level 3. I know they're kind of spoon feeding, handing this to us right now. That's okay. I I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. That kid's got a really big forehead and like a lot of gap between his eyes and his eyebrows. I feel like that's not normal. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be where we stop the episode. I know it's kind of in a weird spot, but I'll be back a little bit later today in about five six hours, recording another episode, and it's it's gonna be good. We're gonna get like two or three up today. 
and you guys should be able to enjoy it. If you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links. Another big shout out to Liven for supporting me and for getting this for all of you guys to enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>